Hey, I'm Cyclin and today I got something specially planned. I'm going to be crafting a simplex amulet in game and you're going to be seeing everything live. Now, it's a live streaming, so I'm live in quotations, but whatever. I'm going to be going step through step, going to leave time step, of course, so you can jump ahead. But what I would like to know is if you actually like this kind of videos or you just want to see the rules of crafting, what you need to do in Craft of Exile and be on your way. Because I won't be, or at least will be trying to cut nothing out and hopefully I've bought enough. So let's take a look at the cost for this. I bought my base for 120 divines, but most of them are about 140 divines right now. We need an item level 85 or 86 simplex amulet. So I hope that I didn't do anything wrong, that everything works as I assume it will work. And we're gonna have this base now. So then we going to be buying any Conqueror's Exalt Dorp for 50 Chaos. We're gonna be needing a lot of Primal Juice and we're gonna need a lot of Essence of Scorns. The finished product should be something that if I get it done in this video will be highlighted now. Going to be Quantity, Crypt Multi and any decent prefix. So with this, let's take a look at what's gonna be, how it's gonna work out. So the first thing we want to do, so we want to take the Simplex Amulet and we want to hope that it can be slammed, which it worked. So now we have an influenced one, but we need it to be Shaper based. So what we can do is we can use Harvest, Reforge to a random influence and hope to get Shaper, which should be a 1 in 6 or 1 in 5 if it can't roll the current one, but we will have to see if that works out as intended. One. Okay, we got it in two. That's already a pretty good start. Now we have a simplex amulet and now we need quantity on it. And we're going to be rolling the specific thing. Essence of Scorn. Which, yeah, I have Shriekings. I just realized I bought Shriekings instead of Deafenings. Which is going to be okay enough because it's going to be a lot cheaper and we can recraft at any point. I was just about scared that I tried to bought Deafenings and bought Shriekings instead, but it worked out. So we're going to be rolling these as Essence of Shrieking, which guarantees us Crit Multi up to 34. So we're going to get at least 60 Crit Multi from the Amulet. A Deafening could be a bit higher. If we look at the stash, Deafening of course is a bit better. It goes from 35 to 41, so we can get up to 80 Crit Multi. But I think this is going to be good enough. At least based on the cost I'm already doing. I know I could be going higher, but I... Don't, I don't have actually that much currency left as there's one more buy I need to do after this. So let's continue with the crafting. We're gonna be rolling those, we're gonna be having our suffix crit multi and we're going to hope for the suffix quantity. And be very careful to not roll over it. Now this might take a while, I do agree, but I can't be talking much because I don't want to miss it. As for the essences, like I said, you can use deafening. You can go with different things. I just think the crit multi makes the most sense for it. For the prefixes, we will get to it later. It's on a normal amulet, it's a 1 in 120. But this is assuming no, no fractures or anything. And the simplex, I have no idea. I hope it's going to be a 1 in 200 or I'm getting early. But I don't expect it. I'm gonna expecting to get it very late and gonna have to buy further essences. That's another rarity, and but we need quantity. The good thing is it will always be below the crit multi, so it's easy to check. You know always where to look to see if you got what you want. Or if you see the crit multi at the bottom, you know that you need to check the row above it. That is T2, so now we would have a nice one, but 
we want T1. That's why we bought the expensive base. So we will be rolling over T2. Getting T2 again. Another. Wow. The game's just trolling us. By the way, if I'm crafting anything... Oh, we got T1. And we got uh, we got a prefix T1, yes. Which is not perfect, but we got a max wall T1. So this will be the end of this. I have a lot of essences left, which I do like, meaning I didn't spend as much. I had one essence remaining. I'm now at 236, meaning I spent 130 essences. Hey, Cyclin here. Now, the original recording was now two days ago. I have been playing two days since. And I came to the realization that I really don't want to cheap out too much on the amulet. Now, I will be cutting this in, or in, rather cutting some things out. That was the end of the video. And instead, we're going to finish the big crafting process for the amulet. Hopefully, I have enough divines left to do that. If not, it uh, could get a bit risky so basically what I'm trying to do now is that I ended originally with getting T1 quant in my suffix I'm still going to be using shriekings I don't I check deafenings deafenings are extremely expensive right now and I don't think they are going to be that much better like the crit multi is definitely going to be nice to have but not with a 20 diff crafting budget so what we're going to be trying to do is we're going to annul the energy shield and it didn't work out so now it's back to essence spamming. If it would have worked we could have done something, uh, we could have done a veiled chaos but as it didn't work out now I need to reroll which is the main concern that I don't know how likely or unlikely it is yet to get the T1 quantity again if I got lucky or if I got unlucky. And that's why I'm a bit scared of finishing it, or I was, but I now committed. So here we are. We're going to be trying to get our quantity again. Hopefully again in roughly 100 essences or less. Hopefully we get lucky again. And if not, that could be quite sad. But the character so, so far has been fun. I've been making a lot of drops. I'm very with happy with how it plays. Still tinkering around with the last bits of it. Still need some stuff that's fixing. But I'm definitely getting into the right direction. It's rarity. Where's my quantity? Come on. Crit. Clarity. Civilization again. I think reservation and quantity could also be a nice combo, but a lot harder to get. That's rarity again. Okay, we got quantity. We again got a prefix, so we again have to hope we did it. Okay. So now, now we can do what I originally wanted to do. Now we're going to craft suffix can be changed. And because this, the veiled chaos will always only apply veiled. And now we're going to unveil. And we have about a 70% chance to get either life or projectile speed. And we've gotten life. So now we're looking at 120 life good amount of crit multi and quantity but of course we now need to do the last step we need to hope that the uh, divine will hit that's that's actually a really good divine so now the amulet is done the only thing that could have gotten better is if we would have gotten the projectile speed and damage which would have made our turning shot really insanely quickly traveling so it would reach further away but this is now a state where i can truly say i'm happy with we got T1 quant again, we got our crit chance again, and we got an unmade life. We've spent, on top of the original 130 essences, we've spent another um, 
I guess 130. No, we were at 360. We now at 120, so we spent 240 essences. So the average of 120 to get a T1 quantity still seems to be somewhat accurate. Or I got lucky twice. But yeah, we now have on top of that cost of 120 base. Now I know at this point it risen, but we had the 120 base. We spent our one divine for the Jews. We spent now, I guess, seven divines in essences. So this is 128 divines. Then we spent two annulments which are like, I guess, a 10 chaos each, roughly. And then we spent multi-modded and a veiled chaos. So let's say that's an another two divines and another 10 chaos, just to have some rounded numbers. So the crafting process seems to cost around, at least in my case, 10 divines, 80 chaos, likely including variants, it could go up to 15 divines. Just if you consider buying a finished one or by crafting base. Now again, I know that when I bought it, I got mine for 120. And it looked to be up at 140 from what I heard from other people that have checked to buy them, uh, Simplex himself. It's now at 170. So the amulet seems to keep going up and we, I'm not sure where it will end. But I think for now I'm very happy with the result. Getting a decent amount of life. And crit multi and the quantity again but yeah that has been the extension to the video hopefully the editing me will get the card correctly and if you have any questions or anything else you would like to see crafted again please tell me if you enjoyed these kinds of videos i will do more of these if that's the case all that being said have a wonderful day and i will see you either on live stream or in the next video